What's going on, guys? Welcome to another edition of The Rounds. My name, of course, is Glenn. Welcome. We bring you the freshest and tastiest in all the brews each and every episode. Uh, that's our pleasure, our passion, and our commitment. Uh, today, we're going to uh, we're gonna do something a little on the light and quick side. I've actually I'm going to roll out to a Super Bowl party here in a little bit. Expect a food and beverage pairing from that, maybe later. Uh, so, we're swinging up to uh, Boston, and we're going to hit up the boys at Sam Adams for... What seems to be just kind of an all-around fusion beer, and maybe a nod to one of the other preeminent craft brewers. Uh, this is the Whitewater IPA. Comes in at 5.8% alcohol by volume. Has five different hop varietals to it. That's Citra, Cascade, Chinook, Simcoe, and Topaz. Uh, not necessarily in that order. Uh, 60 IBUs, and when I said this is kind of a fusion of a fusion, it really is. So they've taken their love for IPAs, and they've taken their love for wheat beers, combined the two, and then done a little twist on top of that. Uh, for similar fusion beers, uh, there are plenty out there. Some of the Belgian IPAs can be really quite tasty. Um, it took a while for Belgian to embrace the idea of IPAs, but once they did, they of course did it with the tremendous flair that Belgium is known to do things with. Um, you may want to check out the incredible hop from Fort Collins Brewing. Uh, they did a Belgian IPA absolutely phenomenal, a little heftier than this, um, and being that it was like, if I remember right, probably 9% alcohol by volume. So, that being said, uh, you know, hit me up, feel free to ask, I can tell you a few others that are in this same, similar kind of fusion genre area. Um, this is, like I said, a Belgian white blended with an IPA with that extra twist. So a Belgian white is what? Uh, Belgian white is a wheat beer, typically done with uh, orange peel and coriander to spice the beer. Uh, and then you've got your IPA, which adds a healthy dose of hops. Again, 60 IBUs here, five different hop varietals. And then to add that extra little twist and kind of help you make your Jones for spring, they added a bit of fresh apricots. Um, now, for those of you who are well studied in the craft beer area, I'm sure that instantly dings a bell. Uh, for me, personally, it is actually one of my favorite IPAs to look forward to each year, and that's the Aprihop from Dogfish Head. Now, that's just a straightforward IPA with apricots, so it lacks that wheat-spiced aspect to it. So, again, fusion of a fusion here. Uh, hazy hue to it. Very, very nice. About 14 SRMs there. Uh, the head, well-structured, seems to be sticking around quite nicely, and you've got that nice little rocky, kind of cakey aspect to it. Um, The bouquet is actually surprisingly mellow. Um, I get, I do get some Citra and the Simcoe off the nose. And a little bit of malt, and the spice is, is just barely there on the bouquet, but overall very much an approachable bouquet. Uh, I have to say, I think the the wheat gives it kind of a, a sturdier backbone for an IPA. And then the orange peel and the apricot seem to work together very nicely. Um, now, the only other bottle of this I had, I, I found the coriander to present a little, a little more than it has thus far in this glass. Um, and that's one thing that I can really have a problem with in terms of Belgian whites is if... Because there are, there are you know, there's a certain amount of inconsistency between each bottle, but it almost helps to not think of it as inconsistency. You think of the the beer on, on itself as one school of thought, and then when you get these variances between the bottles, it's really more just like an education throughout that genre of the flavor profile. Um, so, for instance, with Belgian whites, sometimes you'll get a bottle that's got a bit more of that orange peel aspect to it and could really make it that much more enjoyable to some people. And then in other bottles, you'll get it to where that, that coriander really kind of presents um, and can almost be caustic. Now, now, before it becomes caustic, it actually works as a great palate cleanser um, and does fantastically to pair with many different food styles. Um, additionally, heavier meals uh, pair with hoppy beers fantastically because those hops do a fantastic job of, of kind of cleansing the flavor the flavor profile or, or your palate really allowing you to dive back into that heavier dish wholeheartedly. Um, I 
This one's really, really nicely balanced. I'm actually getting more apricot out of this than I did the other bottle as well. Um, but nothing... It's good. It is. It's good. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily say that it blows me away. Um, if you, do, you know, gave me the choice between this and Aprihop, I, I'd go Aprihop. Um, it's got a bit more of a, a hot presentation to it, and, and I feel like the Apricot presents a bit better. Um, but this is really nice, and, and being that it is 60 IBUs, it plays much more mellow than 60. Um, in fact, I probably would have guessed this no higher than about 40, 45. Uh, so what does this mean? This means that for people who don't realize that they're hop fans yet, you could easily hand them a bottle of this, and they would probably really dig it. Hopefully that, that orange peel, that coriander, that apricot, they're going to provide that kind of balance to the hops. That's really going to make it nice and appealing to a lot of folks. Um, other than that, guys, uh, get out there give it a shot. This is in the Brew, uh, Brewmaster's Choice Mix 12 pack. It features the Alpine Spring, the Mighty Oak Red Ale, and the Whitewater IPA. Other than that, it's all solid, regular selections from Sam. Um, <clears throat> and again, on price point, he's not going to kill you. I mean, typically a six-pack runs about eight bucks. A uh, 12-pack runs all of 14. Um, now, I mean, you get what you pay for. So it's worth that extra stretch to go from crap beer, the big two, to actual real American independently owned and operated beer. And I highly recommend you do so. Uh, should you need help with food pairings or anything, please let me know. Uh, but that'll do it for us here. I've actually, I've got to get my, my chicken going and get, get the fuck out of here. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Here's to it, guys. We will see you next time on the rounds. We'll see you over our next pint. And remember, I do my best work in your mouth. See you next time.